Those are the twins, Tracy and Troy. Right. And Menace. How old are they now? They're going to graduate from Ennis High School <sighs> next spring. Goodness, it's fantastic. been a while. And bless our, bless our friend Chip's heart, rest his soul. He complained about that every year. <laughs> One of those kids about 25 years old, we said, well, they couldn't name them Chip and Dale. That's no. right. Yeah, there's a couple of squirrels <laughs> named Chip and Dale already. Well, I tell you what, why don't we uh, do the weather? Want to? And then we'll see good. what happens. Next, we have a cast of thousands in there. Let's see if this works. But let's have a look at the weather, and here's what it looks like. Downtown Dallas looking good. A little warm, not all that hot for this time of year, though. And no rain around this afternoon. Easy last forecast for me to make. And besides, if it's wrong, what are they going to do? Fire me? <laughs> all right. Here's what things look like. It's 92, feels like 95 with the humidity this afternoon. And the humidity is 41%. Barometer falling when south southwest at 20 miles an hour. The wind's going to die back tonight. Tomorrow it'll be south 10 to 15. A little bit of ventilation, but it'll still be a warm day. Okay, what else is going on? Satellite sequence shows a low pressure system in the upper levels in south Texas. Too far south to get anything near us today. Yesterday we had showers pretty close around Ennis, Waxahachie, Corsicana. Today, that sank too far to the southwest. So we're out of the rain pattern until about Friday. Temperatures this afternoon look like this. Not too bad for this time of year where it's raining or at least cloudy in the 70s in Austin and San Antonio. In our area, we've seen worse. Uh, the record for the state we'll see in a moment is 110 from that summer of 1980. Nothing like that today. Upper 80s and low 90s this afternoon with heat in the season only about 2-3 degrees warmer than the real temperature. 75 was the low this morning, 94 the high this afternoon. That record for this date did come from that blistering summer of 1980. 67 days of 100 degrees or more, 42 in a row. And I'm sure a lot of us remember that one well. The pollen? Dr. Jeff Edelglass counts the pollen today at uh, high fungus, high grass, total 2418 grains per cubic meter, always at WFA.com. Around the country this afternoon, fairly quiet day, really. There's that little upper low in Mexico in the southern part of the state. But this front, not that part, but that part of it will get close enough to us on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and maybe part of Monday to give us a chance to get back in the rain pattern. Not that flooding rain as we saw earlier, but kind of some nice rain. Still going to wait a few days for that, though. Here's what things look like tomorrow. Tomorrow that front gets a little closer, but no real chances for rain. Isolated showers at best. The day after tomorrow, though, front gets close. Kind of sits down, stays more or less where it is right on through Monday, and then starts to move back toward the north. So here's a forecast for you. Tonight, partly cloudy and warm, 73 degrees. Tomorrow, Isolated shower, thunderstorm, just very, very few, 93. Scattered, that's an increase on Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday, I think both those days were rather numerous showers and thunderstorms. Temperatures about 92. And on Monday, scattered thunderstorms and about 93 degrees. So that's the weather, but we still have some more things to do, so I'll be back. <laughs> well, go. uh, we've got a cast of thousands here, including some here. of your This is my, my bride, Janet, and our son, Dana. Thank you for being here. Congrats. I wanted to have, have a look at you folks as well. They've been sharing us, sharing them with us I for know, a long time. I know, I know. And a lot of people don't realize that, you know, when you work this job, you know, you're not home a lot. And when there's an emergency, we're kind of like first responders. So we get taken away from our family. That's so we right. appreciate Thank you two for being here. Our two daughters, one lives in California, one in Oklahoma City. Neither one could make it today. But I'm sure we'll get the video of that. In fact, it was loud in here, so I couldn't really hear all the nice tribute things while I got, which is good. <laughs> <laughs> Better to hear those later on a recording. So thanks for everything. My goodness. And as you know, I'm not going away. Yeah. No. I've got we know 25 that, days this coming year that I'll be doing things at Channel 8 on air. And also, Santa's Helpers, Pete, and I'll be sharing duties on that. So I'll be seeing you. I'm not that easy to get rid of. Remember that, that movie, Guns of Navarone, where Anthony Quinn says, I'm not that easy to kill. <laughs> <laughs> well, in spite of the fact, this looks a little like a funeral. And I hope you, <laughs> I hope you all sign the register. <laughs> <laughs> Nonetheless, I'm not really going away. So thanks for everything, but I'll be seeing you around. Uh, it's not not even Arrivederci. It's as the Italians say, up your tard. I'll see you later. Right. That's right. That's and what you know what? Hear. We're not even finished yet. That's Take right. There's break. more. Okay. Be right back. 31 years here, 45 years in broadcast. Amazing career. That's right, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Channel 8 Chief Weather Forecast, Troy Duncan. Yeah, for about another three minutes. <laughs> but anyway, I, uh, Janet and I met at KTRK TV in Houston, where we both worked, in 1969. We got married in 1972. It's been almost 35 years. And now everybody wants to know, Janet, what do you think about me being home more? 
we'll get to go out to dinner more. <laughs> well, I've already been home in the evenings at, uh, for the last year or so, but now what about all? Am I going to get underfoot? Um, no, you managed to occupy yourself quite well. <laughs> Why do I have to be out of the house every afternoon for a couple of hours, though? He can't stand listening for me listening to Dr. Laura. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, folks. As I said, I will be around for 25 days and Santa Suppers. Thanks to Janet and Dana for coming down. God bless. God bless you, Troy.